The floods in BC have affected thousands of families. People have lost homes, pets, farms, livestock, livelihood, jobs, everything. How much time did you have to prepare for the flood? Um, well they said a lot of rain was coming, so, but we did not think it would be as bad as it was, but, um, I remember we were out for, when we heard it was starting to flood, like, we were out there immediately starting to sandbag and do anything we could just to keep our main barns out of the water. Once we finished one, one barn, it was the next, and then once we finished ours, we went to help the next farm. And I remember at one point, I left, but my dad was spending, he was up for about two days just loading pallets and pallets and pallets of chickens to the way the chicken farms are built. And, uh, so, yeah. Farms were lost. Much of BC's produce was destroyed, including lots of fields which are now soiled with sewage water making it impossible for farmers to grow. Hundreds of livestock drowned, including cows, pigs, chickens, horses, and millions of dollars worth of damage occurred to many of our farms. How long is recovery estimated to take? Years. It's uh, due to field damage, and like we've known farmers who have lost all their feed, feed for the year, so they don't know how they're gonna make through it. Luckily, we got pretty lucky where a lot of our feed is okay, but we have lost a bit of feed, but hopefully we can lend some feed out because some farmers have nothing left. How many cattle on your farm died during the flood? Um, we have lost around 250 through our several diaries, and uh, cleanup has been the roughest part because it's just not too fun hauling dead animals that you rely on when you're living, so it's been, uh, been pretty rough. How much time did you have to evacuate? Um, not that long, because by the time the barns were starting to flood, we had to get the equipment, then we had to get volunteers in, and through the water and the flooding, it was really rough, and we had to get the trailers out. So at one point, we just ended up putting a dolly on our tractor and getting a 40-foot uh, animal hauler on the back, and uh, just started hauling through there. And uh, it was pretty rough for everyone. Well, thank you for letting us film and talk yeah. to you, especially because these topics are really hard to talk yeah. about. Much appreciation. Yeah.